Well, hello, fans. I'm here once again with Alan Hinton. Alan, it's been a few weeks since we've been together, but here we are, the biggest game of the year for the Sounders. Well, you've been on a fancy cruise, haven't you? Uh, yes, I have, Alan. The weather was lousy, but you know what? The sunshine <laughs> came back as soon as I saw you. Well, there's a lot of things happened since you were gone, and uh, uh, let's catch up. So, Alan, we're here literally about an hour to an hour and a half before the kickoff between the Sounders of Rail Salt Lake. The Sounders are in a dogfight. There's four teams vying for three slots for the playoffs. We're waiting to see what happens with the Kansas City match as well as the Portland Timbers match. I know you've been bullish on the Sounders. What do you think is going to happen after these matches take place? Well, uh, first of all, I congratulate Major League Soccer for making it uh, uh, divisional play uh, teams play against divisional players in the last few weeks of the season. And of course, uh, in the West, uh, which I follow much more closely than the East, uh, in the East, of course, you've got the Red Bulls and New York City. City and Toronto uh, all fighting for those two top spaces but in in the West three teams are already in uh, uh, Dallas Colorado and LA but then the next four teams uh, are Salt Lake City the Sounders uh, uh, Kansas City and uh, Portland uh, are fighting for three places so the Sounders today play Salt Lake City here at home uh, there's going to be a big crowd. It's a it's a it's a full stadium that's been opened, so I'm sure there's going to be 50,000, uh, and it's a big deal. It's a big deal for Brian Smetzer. It's a big deal for the for the club. It's a big deal for the fans because if we win, then we will go clear fourth, which is a long way from the ninth spot we were in on September 11. On the other hand, Portland have been struggling. They go to Vancouver. If they lose at Vancouver, I'm not sure they will, even though Portland is, is 0 and 16. Uh, on the road in the regular season which tells you something's not right uh, you, you can't go winless and uh, and have a good happy locker room so for me uh, Vancouver are struggling will they pull the big guns out and uh, try and beat uh, their, their local rivalry uh, 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 Portland which would help the Sounders get in anyway so your prediction Alan are the Sounders going to win yep Sounders will win uh, uh, Brian Smetzer's second or third game as the uh, interim coach was a against Salt Lake City here and we played them off the field. Uh, Salt Lake City haven't uh, I think they've scored they've scored one goal in the last five games uh, uh, and haven't done well. Uh, they're very very beatable and and I think the Sounders will beat them today. So who are some of the key players you're going to be watching Alan in such a big match? Well uh, you know I'm a uh, I know all about the Sounders, I go to practice. So Ladero, who's having a marvelous year since he came here from Boca Juniors, uh, uh, on the day that Ziggy got let go as the coach, uh, he's a big time player. Uh, he plays for Uruguay. Uh, Torres is a, is, a, is a very good player, he's a huge man, he, he, he really intimidates opposing players, but he's very calm and easy to pl play on the ball. Uh, Chad Marshall's having a good year. Jovin Jones, for me, played uh, his best game in Dallas uh, uh, last week. Uh, defensively, uh, Ty Mears is turning the corner and having a good year now. Uh, and Roldan has come on leaps and bounds. The local boy from uh, 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 the University of Washington uh, 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 last year or two years ago, he's improving all the time, getting goals, running hard and playing hard. Uh, in the end, I don't think Ivancic will play for the Sounders, but Jordy Morris will be up the front and he looks good and he can break out any moment and score goals. Uh, on, on the uh, Salt Lake City team, we've got uh, Romano, the goalkeeper, who's uh, on the small side. Uh, he's a very brave goalie, very quick. And then you've got Beckerman, who plays in the midfield, uh, who will be competing against Alonso. And uh, so, you know, they've got decent players, uh, Salt Lake City, but we have a much better team on paper than them, in my opinion. And I think the Sounders will go into victory. Alan, let's transition over. I know you watch the world of soccer. Some There was a big game this morning with Manchester United and Chelsea. Typical teams up at the top. Man U is having its issues. Another big match coming up next week. Give us your thoughts on the EPL. Well, uh, the story today was uh, Mourinho's return to Chelsea. Uh, he got a good reception, wasn't fantastic, but he got a good reception, which he well deserves, but then he got smacked 
they got uh, Chelsea won four to nothing. It was pretty easy for Conte, who is a good manager for Chelsea. He's got a mean streak about him, which I like. All he had to say before the game was, "Hey, you don't want Mourinho to embarrass you in the press if he comes here and beats you and put up with his BS and his, his, his comical show. Let's go and show him who the bosses are." And of course, they did four to nothing uh, to Chelsea. But as you said, next Wednesday, uh, Man United play Manchester City in the uh, in the League Cup. So it'll be interesting to see whether Mourinho tries to bring a smile back to the Manchester United fan. Uh, switching the subject uh, around, but Bob Bradley has now taken over uh, the US, former US national team coach. He's taken over at Swansea. I hope he does great. I'm not sure he will, but it would be fantastic if he did well, because that might open the door for some from other American coaches to go over there, because a lot of the teams are now owned by Americans. Uh, I think Sunderland's going to struggle at the bottom of the league. At the top, you've got Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool have been very, very impressive. I do like Jurgen Klopp. I think he's bought, he's like a breath of fresh air to Liverpool. He's been there just over a year, has turned the club into a big-time club again. <clears throat> and then you've got... Uh, uh, Tottenham uh, but, but sometimes they're dropping points against the easier teams so for me there's five teams at the top of the Premier League it'll be a dogfight in the middle and at the bottom but uh, English Premier League is doing well Leicester we didn't nobody forecast Leicester would finish in the top six this year if they do that would be an amazing achievement I think they'll probably finish 10th or 12th or something like that but uh, so the English Premier League is doing great and it's very popular around the world Alan, thank you once again for your comments. We're doing this before the match, so we'll see how good your predictions are. And we'll look forward to another session of Alan Hinton Unleashed as the playoffs take place. And then we'll look forward to some of the international matches involving the United States. Okay, thank well, you, Alan. Good to see you again. Back. Welcome back. Thank, thank you.